Hello guys and welcome to this very unfortunate video. Here you see me disassembling this cursed 2011 iMac and that marks the end of it. Yes, I'm parting it out, I'm selling parts and it will be gone. Now I know lots of you would have loved to see it fixed and working and you know. Now I would have loved to see that too, believe it or not, yes. The amount of hours I put into troubleshooting this and getting it, picking it up in the first place was like a two hour drive and then getting all the parts took a while and yeah, I mean really, I would have loved to seen it fixed but at the time I was deciding to, you know, chop it, to part it out, I was into it 462 euros, guys. Let that sink in. 462 euros. That could have bought me a really nice iMac, which actually would have worked and it would have been newer. And yeah, I know it's it's not the theme of this channel to get the best deals, I know, but I really, I, I said to myself, no, you aren't getting another GPU because that then it would have been fixed, right? Only another GPU, ha 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 ha. I decided that if I got a new GPU, it would have needed to be a really fast one, a good one, you know, the one that I would have put in here, the 870M for instance. But getting one of those right now with the screwed up market because of the shortages, super expensive. And so I was looking at like some quad rows for 80 bucks or something. And then I figured, you know what? No, it's too much. And the money is the one thing, but it's actually not the main reason why I didn't get it. The main reason is I just didn't care anymore. And that's something you have to understand. I didn't want to go through the hassle of removing the board for the third time, putting in, putting in the GPU for the third time and just praying that it works and getting another used GeForce card which might have problems too. So that is it, I'm parting it out. I'm doing that because it's much easier to sell the parts individually than selling the one broken computer which might not really be that easy to sell because who wants a broken 10 year old iMac? I mean. Can't imagine many people want that except me, but um, yeah, might have learned my lesson there too. Now just to recap, if you're not up to speed, if you like only watched the recent videos or something, this iMac, when I got it, didn't show a video signal. And my first guess was right, GPU is dead. But unfortunately, I got too focused on those damn diagnostic LEDs. And so I supposed that when I put my 70M in, and it still didn't show three lights that the board had a problem, the logic board. And so I bought another logic board. Now the logic board is fine. That was not the problem. So I sent back the logic board. Thankfully the eBay seller was nice and took it back. So no loss there. But one person in the comments told me that an unflashed video card uh, causes a, you know, not to light up the three LEDs. And so I flashed it and I was super hyped. You can watch it in the latest video of it. And yes, I was hyped and it worked and it showed a video signal and I finally thought, oh my god, that 870M from AliExpress is actually working. And it is semi-working because the moment it booted, it showed lines. It didn't want to boot into macOS, but it booted into Windows and there I saw it clearly broken GPU. It had lines on the screen and it wouldn't let install a drive or nothing. It was a faulty GPU. Hooray! And so I contacted the AliExpress seller, didn't respond. And yeah, that's it. I'm trying to sell it off for a little bit, but I made a huge loss on that stupid graphics card. That really goes to show that if you're buying something so expensive, maybe not getting get it on AliExpress. Um, or maybe get it from a really trusted seller, but hey, that tr that seller actually didn't have bad reviews, so can you trust that? I suppose not. So what am I gonna do, you know, sue a guy in China or something? It's, it's not really feasible, not really making any sense at all, so I'm just gonna take that hit, and that was also a factor, like getting another GPU and having also the, you know, the chance that it has problems and might fail. I just said, that's it, I'm done. 
and that's as far as it goes so I think I can make back a little bit of the money I really hope so I found those parts individually to be rather expensive if I can trust the values and eBay also needs to sell of course I don't know how the demand is on those things but that doesn't matter I will keep it around in my workshop and when they sell they sell doesn't matter I just want to see them gone and so this iMac is out of my life and I'm happily still using the 2010 which has been flawless I'm actually cutting this very video on it and it's been super reliable I'm not all that mad that this 2011 didn't work out by the way the prices on CPUs god damn it insanity I bought that i7 like for 35 bucks and and now it's like uh, selling for almost 70 like what is going on anyhow that is it for this part of the video by the way yes I also tried baking the GPU I tried I even made a video but didn't work I tried both GPUs the Nvidia just stayed the same and the, the original card just did nothing so yes I even tried that I mean obviously you know what's what's wrong with trying it that's what I thought so put it in an oven baked it and actually did the original car two times but didn't want to didn't want to come back so yeah now there's another thing we need to talk about actually I am in fact currently in the process of selling off some of my Mac collection and I'm doing that because well for for, for a couple of reasons in fact first of all I kind of lost interest you know this whole vintage Mac thing where this channel is based on I learned a lot over the years, don't get me wrong, I really enjoyed it, I know lots about PowerPC and stuff, but at this point I don't find it all that interesting anymore. And I now own so many computers, and so many of which I've really never used all that much, and some I really don't care about. And so I'm trying to get rid of, like shrink down the collection massively. I have so many computers and I, well. I'm just sick of them and they just take up space and also I feel like I can use that money somewhere else. Now there are some which I will of course not sell like the Cube or my 1.5 GHz PowerBook G4 that's like my personal PowerBook which I used years ago with still the installation and all the programs so that's something I kind of feel attached to you know I have a history with that. History with that. But for instance, I'm currently also selling this 1.6 GHz PowerBook, like the fastest PowerBook. And I know some of you might scream like, why are you doing this? This has an SSD, 2 GB of RAM, you know, it's the fastest. Yeah, guys, the thing is, for me, it's not any more useful than the 1.5, but the 1.5 has like a sentimental value to me. So, yeah, and a collector might like the 1.6, you know, it's the fastest, it's in good condition, it has a thermal page service done. So that's something I can pretty pretty much sell in good conscience and get even a little, little better money for it actually. And yeah, I will do that for a couple of machines and the PowerBooks have led me to this decision in fact because um, I bought this for, for example, this 12 inch PowerBook which I never really cared too much about. Yeah, I thought it looks cool but I simply bought it to finish off my collection. And once I had it, yeah, I had it. I had all the PowerBooks but then I thought, hey, like... What is it else gonna bring me, you know? I don't get any joy from them anymore. I've installed all the Mac OS tens, I've upgraded lots of stuff. It's nothing I really enjoy all that much anymore. And so I'm selling them. And currently they're online. Some have been sold already. And yeah, there are some which I will keep of course, but I will I will try to sell off uh, a big chunk of them. And um, yeah. Now also that kind of goes without saying um, I will obviously not buy more computers like more vintage Macs I will not acquire more old PCs or Macs just you know for this very reason oh yeah it might not be the final nail on the coffin maybe I see like really cool PCs or something selling in my area and I can't resist but for the most part you know uh, I've had my sh like experience really rich experiences with those machines I got into so many niches and uh, yeah I enjoyed it but this vintage uh, computer thing yeah it was cool but I've 
been doing it now for 10 years almost in September uh, this channel gets I think 10 years old yes and since then I have I have done this I've collected a huge amount of computers and I'm just stuck with them and I don't know what useful content I can do with them and also for me personally they don't they're not that interesting anymore so I might move them on to a collector who enjoys them and maybe also fixes them properly and you know refurbishes them whatever and for the final part of this video we need to talk about the channel also because I lately just haven't been that creative I couldn't really come up with video ideas that has also got to do probably with this the fact that I've just done so much already I have installed so many operating systems um, we have upgraded so many computers and it already somewhat showed on the vintage Windows installation series like once we got to Windows 2 the peak interest was gone like I think our peak interest was like at 3.1 we really we really we were really excited and enthusiastic about you know when we installed that but since then eh, it's kind of gotten downhill we did it for the you know the viewers liked it it was kind of a tradition so we finished it off but we weren't all that interested in it anymore now same can be said for the upgrade videos uh, once we did this 2010 iMac you know we were one of the first on YouTube to put in a 765M graphics card and we were really pumped and really enthusiastic and when it worked we were really happy same with CPU upgrade but once we did it on the 2011 we were like ah, we've done this before well obviously we have it's not that interesting also it didn't work so it pissed us off even more and also in the past when, when an error came up or something we, we were much more persistent on fixing it when an error came yeah we googled the answer we tried a different stuff we sit sat there for hours on end and we fixed it but lately we were like an error comes up oh god damn it an error uh, let's just let's just go do something else you know so our interest has faded and my interest has faded I've got other things to do in my life at the moment and yeah I mean it's not that I you know I'm sick of making videos not at all it's just that I want to make videos which are entertaining which are you know for the sake of saying it good uh, rather than you know forcing myself to make a video and not enjoying it and that's something I would never do you know I do this on my own budget in my own time and so I can do it you know whenever I like and I want it to be when I'm in the mood for making a video I don't want to force myself to install something which I really don't care about you know and so yeah I think I will I will take a break from YouTube and see if I can come up with some new ideas um, I'm most definitely gonna check out Windows 11 for instance but yeah for the most part uh, I've done so much already and uh, yeah there's there's not so much left which I want to explore and um, yeah guys so hope you understand that uh, yeah maybe I'll come back in a couple of weeks already maybe months I don't know but yeah I've still got some videos in the pipeline but uh, then but then I have to find ideas again I have to find some new maybe shake it up a little bit uh, new content ideas and yeah just maybe randomly something pops in my head and I'll, I'll make a video but I don't have anything planned and as I said I've got other things uh, going on in my summer here and yeah so hope you understand that so I'm really sorry that this didn't work out but that's just the way it goes that's life anyway see you later guys mates yeah see you later mates <laughs>
Is that that one where you had all the videos on? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Why did it kill it? Are you sure? <laughs> is, that a, <laughs> is that a separate hard drive? No. <laughs> oh my god. No, it's just Mr. Bitch and the other one. <laughs> But <laughs> Mr. Truly is a bitch. <laughs> it's fucking upgrade. Oh. <laughs> this will be easy and straightforward. <laughs> it was straightforward into fucking hell. I killed my data, mate. God damn. <laughs> but how? <laughs> like how? What did you do? I'll tell you what I did. <laughs>